Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, today I am trying one of McDonald's secret menu items. Now, similar to a lot of the marketing strategies McDonald's has been doing, uh, namely like the celebrity meals they've been selling, this is, actually isn't a new product. Like I said, it's a secret menu item. You could order this and make this yesterday, um, but right now, you know, starting January 31st, they're really trying to push these four secret menu items. So the one that we're doing today is the Land, Air, and Sea. So I could have ordered this before. You do have to assemble it yourself, uh, but now that they're trying to market it, you get these cute little menu hack cards. It's got a QR code so you can go to the McDonald's TikTok and see how to assemble your food. We don't really need to do that, but I appreciate the effort. Uh, the other thing to mention, because I went to order this, I think if you try to order it as the Land, Air, and Sea, it was like $12. So you actually want to make sure not to say that. Uh, the woman that was ringing us up said just order the items separately because at least where I live, uh, the McChicken and the filet fish are buy two for six. So I got all three of these items, the Big Mac, the McChicken, and the filet fish for about $8, a little bit over $8. So let's assemble our sandwich. There are a few other items that they have on this secret menu list. Uh, I'll try and review those throughout the week, we'll see. But this is the one I was most excited for because it's three different sandwiches and I'm a glutton. So we got our McChicken, our Big Mac, and our filet of fish This will be interesting. I think it all sounds good, but there is secret sauce and tartar sauce on this because you're combining the sandwiches. Okay, so let's get our Big Mac out first. Ooh, the box is greasy, that's gross. And probably my favorite menu item from McDonald's is the Big Mac, so Happy about that. I have to eat all the lettuce out of the box. It's a must. Let's pull this apart. Let's open her up. I forgot, as much as I love a Big Mac, look how sad that little beef patty is. Oh, that's why I usually eat at like Jack in the Box or Carl's Jr. Cause I like a thick patty. Now we've got our filet of fish very simple. If you've never had a filet of fish, it's just a square fish patty, tartar sauce, and cheese. Oh my gosh, that is the saddest little piece of cheese. It's like half a piece of cheese. I remember it used to be a whole piece of cheese. What's going on there? Um, I always think it's kind of weird. We're going to scrape this tartar off with the bun. I always thought it was kind of weird that McDonald's puts fish or cheese on their fish sandwich, um, but it is pretty good. Let's get as much sauce as we can. We want it saucy. And don't worry, the extra buns will not go to waste. I'll probably save them and give them in pieces to my dogs as a treat. Oh yeah, you got to keep the hamburger and the pickles with the secret sauce. Alright, alright, I got it, I got it. Alright, and then we need our McChicken, which I think this is just mayonnaise, yeah. Okay. So that goes on top. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm like an artiste. All right, she's beautiful. She's beautiful. All right, let's clean up the plate. I have to take a picture of this gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Okay, so I thought about speed eating this today, but I really wanna get like all of the flavors together. That's kind of hard to do. The uh, best way to speed eat something like this is to disassemble it and just shove layers in your mouth. But I want to get all the flavors at once. All right, let's do this. Hmm. All right. The first thing I could detect, um, I got a nice bite. The first thing I could detect 
was the fish and the tartar sauce. But then the chicken came in and then the beef and the secret sauce. So it's interesting because it didn't taste like the flavors were together, but I could indeed taste all the layers. All right. This is interesting. Yeah. Okay. Mmm. Mm hmm. Wow. <clears throat> Hmm. Yeah, it's very fish forward. So if you are not a fan of the filet fish I do not recommend this. That said, so they only show two of the other items on here, but there's actually four secret menu hacks that they're, um, they're promoting right now. So the one that they don't show here on these cute little papers is the Surf and Turf, which appears to be a double cheeseburger with the uh, filet of fish and then they have the crunchy double, which again is a double cheeseburger, but it's got barbecue sauce and chicken nuggets as the bottom layer. And then the hash brown McMuffin, which I think a lot of people do. So if you just order the McMuffin meal, it's gonna come with a hash brown. You just put it in the sandwich. I've never done it, but it makes total sense. What I would love to do, and you'd have to hit it like right at the right time like right when breakfast is ending, lunch is starting. But, and I miss the days when McDonald's served breakfast all day. But if you could get the hash brown and put it in the burger, or maybe take one of their burgers and use two hash browns as the buns, that's what I would do. Okay, so huge fan of sriracha. We know, wearing the shirt. Um, I'm gonna put sriracha on this because I think it's gonna make it way better. Sorry, it's my spicy ketchup, it's what I do. <clears throat> so I'll end the review. If you wanna stick around and watch me eat this, I know some people like to do that, might as well. Uh, review's over, would I buy it again? Uh, I don't think so, no. It's interesting, it's fun. Again, I love that they're trying to market. It's very clever that they were able to get me to buy this even though none of these items are new, but as a combination, it's not so delicious that it's something I would get regularly. I, I mean, I'd rather just eat all three of these sandwiches independently in the same sitting. Nice. I do hope though, that said, I do hope that one of my competitive eating friends Speedy, it's one of these, preferably multiples. I'm sure they will. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. So I don't know about the surf and turf, that doesn't sound that interesting to me, but I do think I want to try the crunchy double. The idea of putting chicken nuggets on my burger, that sounds fun. I love doing fat kid stuff like that. I saw, if you guys watch Everything Spicy, my buddy Phil runs that channel, does great spicy challenges, but he also reviewed the new Pizza Hut Spicy Lovers Pizza. And then he did a secondary video I still need to watch, but he used the pizza as the bun to a burger. I love it when people do that. I first learned that trick from the vulgar chef. I think it's genius. Pizza for hamburger buns. You should do it. Mmm. I love that cheap processed cheese. <clears throat> Yeah, in fact, I've thought about, it would be a really fun challenge, once I get my capacity up, to take two pizzas and use like a whole pizza as, as a bun and make a giant hamburger patty at home. I think that would be cool. It would look neat too.
I have lettuce stuck to the roof of my mouth. Mm, okay. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a fun fat kid treat. And, again, to McDonald's credit, I appreciate that they're not doing any more of those fake celebrity meals. Because most of the time I had to look up whoever the celebrity was. Like, I think the only one I knew off the top of my head was maybe BTS. <clears throat> and that meal was actually kind of cool because they did come out with that new dipping sauce for it. So I'll give them credit for that. But all the other ones, it's just like, this person likes to drink Sprite with their quarter pounder. I don't care. I don't care. As evident by the fact that I didn't review those meals, even though they did get a lot of views, but I did go to McDonald's for this. Mm, they're falling apart. Okay, now it's a little more beef heavy. Mm. Mm hmm. And I couldn't really taste the chicken at all except there is like a peppery aftertaste that's lingering so if you haven't had a mcchicken they put black pepper in the batter which is delicious but i'm definitely tasting that <clears throat> all right i think this is the last bite <clears throat> delicious so that's that remember if you're gonna order this you do have to order all three sandwiches independently so the big mac the mcchicken and the filet fish if you have the deal where you live the two for six or whatever kind of deal they have it's better to not mention land air and sea just order the three sandwiches that's all you have to do all right with that guys i'm katie prettyman the world's okayest competitive eater and i hope that you have a wonderful day bye Thank <sniffs> you.